Hey guys, Scope Scripter here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tycoon inside of Roblox Studio. So first we're going to open up the toolbox and we're going to search up Zed's Tycoon Kit. We're going to take the first one by Zed underscore gaming and we're going to ungroup it like it says. Then we're going to delete the thing that says delete me and we're going to delete the thumbnail camera. Now we're going to open up the kit. Inside of it you'll see a few folders and a bunch of other stuff. Open the folder titled Tycoons. Inside of you will see Fighting Bears. Open this. This is your tycoon. Inside there will be a lot of stuff. If it looks confusing now, don't worry. I'll explain to you what everything does in a minute. First, we're going to go inside of Purchases. Here is all the stuff that you are able to purchase inside of the tycoon. The walls, the colorizer, the droppers, everything. Now, I'm going to delete the materializer and the colorizer. Just, I don't really know why, but I don't really want those in my tycoon. So I'm just going to delete them. Now, if you delete something from your tycoon, what you're also going to have to do, if you delete it from purchases, you're going to have to go into buttons. And you're going to have to find the button for materializer or colorizer. And you're going to have to delete those two. Now, I'm also going to delete the dev product example and the game pass button example. Just because I'm not going to show you guys how to script that and make that work right now. Now, if you join this game right now, you should have a working tycoon. So let's just wait for it to join. So if you join this right now, you'll have a working tycoon. Um, you know, it, everything works pretty well. You can begin working. You can buy stuff. Just like a regular tycoon. Even though this is a click tycoon. Um... Which is a little older, but it still works, and you can collect the cash, and everything works fine. But, you know, what if you actually want to customize it, and add new things, change things around? That's what I'm going to show you how to do next. Now, currently, you can change the material of anything in here. Just go into Purchases, um, and you can find all the stuff, you know, to change the color of. Or you can just search it up and explore if you already know the name of it. So you can change the material and color of everything currently here. That won't change a thing. But what I'm going to show you how to do next is to actually add things into the tycoon. Like what if you want to add something that the player can buy? Maybe it's a gun. Maybe it's a new wall. Maybe it's stairs. Helicopter, portal, whatever it is. You probably want to add something new because currently this tycoon doesn't look like it will be much fun to play. So to do that, you're going to go into purchases. And... Well, first of all, we're going to get our model, okay? But purchases will come next, you'll see. So we're going to get a model. What you want to appear over here, um, whatever we want that to be, that you want the player to buy, we're going to get now. And for me, it's just going to be a chair. So we're just going to grab a chair from the toolbox. All right? Nothing, you know, spectacular, just a chair. I'm not going to go overboard with this. Um... But what we're going to do now, we're going to drag this chair from the workspace inside of purchases. So that's where the purchases came in. Um, once we have that, we are going to open this chair up. Um, and, oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You don't have to open the chair up. Uh, it's fine. Um, but the next thing we're going to do after we get the chair or whatever model you want inside of purchases, we're going to go next to buttons. And just get a random button. For me, it's going to be buy dropper one. You're going to duplicate it. Okay? And you're going to call this buy chair. Or whatever your model name is. And we're going to move it over here to the chair. Now, the name doesn't matter. Um, I just like it because, you know, it says buy chair and then the player knows that they're getting. But the name actually doesn't matter. Um, whatever you name it doesn't matter, you know. We're going to open this up, the buy chair button, and you'll see a bunch of stuff here. Dependency, humanoid object, price, and head. Now the head is just the actual button part. But uh, the humanoid, you won't have to mess with. But dependency, object, and price is what we'll have to mess with. So you're going to go to view, and you're going to open up properties. And you're going to see, if you click on object, price, or dependency, um, there's a few things that I'm going to have to explain to you. Now, dependency is, you know in a tycoon, when you buy something and a few more buttons appear, 
or you cannot buy a certain item before you buy something else. Like for example, um, you can't, you know, you don't see the buttons for buy dropper one before you press the button for begin working. And that is the dependency. So the dependency, they're going to put the name of your model um, or what you want it to be dependent on um, from purchases, um, you know, to want to appear. So in purchases, you'll find a list of things. Um, you can choose any of these things to be the dependency. So for me, I'm going to make the dependency the mine. So if you go into dependency, it's already mine, but I'm going to change it to mine or, you know, keep it the same, whatever. Uh, now the dependency is on the mine. Now the object, well, that's kind of self-explanatory. It's just the object you want from purchases. Currently it's on dropper one because that's what we duplicated. But we're going to change that to chair because that is the name of the item in our purchases. Now the price also, that's just the price. You can change this. You don't have to change anything else on the side. I'm just going to make this 10 just because I want to keep this tutorial quick and short. And now this should work. If you join the game, um, the chair should not be visible. And you should have to buy the chair. Um, so let's load really quick. You should have to buy the chair after you get the mine. And the button will pop up, stuff like that. As you can see, the chair is not visible. If you touch this to claim, nothing here. Now let's get the mine. Oh, look at that. The buy chair button has popped up. Now let's get $10 so we can buy the chair. And here we go. 20 And boom, the chair appears. So it's that simple. You honestly don't have to do much else other than that. Um, to add more things to your tycoon, just repeat the same process I did. Except with some variations like the placement, things like that. And yeah, that's honestly it for this tutorial. Hope this helped you guys out. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, thanks guys, see you in the next video.